How's everyone feeling? Huh? Um, go ahead, escape. I get it more now to an extent. I still don't agree with it, but no, I don't. I, I don't see agree more with the it problem. Too. I I see the problem at a bigger scale now. Of I was just saying to Dean, like, I think a lot of this shit stems from like no one really hits anyone up about anything other than jobs, gang related shit. It's never like how are you, you good, like, you know? Yeah, no, it's yeah. Everyone needs something off everyone. But I think it gets to certain people more than others. Hundred percent. Anyone else? Um, I just wanna. Once again, I told SK I'm not okay. I'm great with the gang. Uh, just just a couple loose ends I have to tie up. Uh, well, touch, to be honest with you. And uh, mentally, I'm not all there. I just wanna let you guys. No, I feel that. I feel that. Yeah. I mean, to be honest, especially for you and um, you and SK, uh, SK and Matt, this is your first time seeing shit like this, you know? Yeah. And like I was telling Matt, before you guys even were men I think this was back when you guys were roadmen. Tommy said if people don't start picking up their shit, he's gonna leave. And I feel like in a general sense, we've gone downhill again, you know? I don't agree with Adam getting shot. But from, like, a leadership standpoint, it's sometimes hard to get to everyone, you know? Like, you tell someone 700 times and they don't listen to you. But I, like, I honestly don't agree with him getting shot, you know? I don't think he does, Steve. No, just... no, me and me yeah. and Dean had a chat with him and he blatantly said, you know, I, you know, I went too, mu too far, you know, shouldn't have done that, yeah. this and that. But the thing is, yeah. I kind of realized that like, as well. I voiced to him that like, I don't agree with what he did, but after that, there's not really like there's he did it right, and I see what Dean's saying to an extent. Like he, as the leader of this gang, yeah, he can do what he feels necessary. Exactly. And if that's yeah. what he felt in the moment. That's what he felt in the moment. Granted, yeah, I still don't agree with it, but. I said to T as well, I spoke to him one-on-one, -on -one. I said, look, I don't agree with it, but as a leader, I trust you, and I trust that, you know, like, you did what you felt was best. 100%, and that's how it should be, you know? Yeah. So that being said, as the leader, he made a decision yesterday. And that decision was to let Jay in. So Jay knows about Teddy. Oh. Hey, who did you say told him? Uh, Tommy did. Oh, T. Yeah, T. So. Um, say again. Jay knows about Teddy. Tommy made the decision to let him in. Especially after, you know, how he felt. Because I had a chat with um Jay and Tommy. And to be honest. Like, I could relate with Jay if I was in his shoes, because, um, when you, when you guys sent him to the corner, um, when you guys were gonna, I mean, I mean at least you, Dean, when you, when you dropped the bomb in front of Marie, yeah. that was like a shell shock to him, because you have to look at it from Jay's point of view. He doesn't know this thing exists. So for him to be sent to a corner, and you guys shoot Marie. Okay, that's one thing. He might not think much of it. But then on the pier, you guys, you guys say, "Oh, do we trust Jay? This, 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 blah, blah, blah." And then, um, who was it? Adam that said, "No, not yet." And then one thing that hit Jay struck. But I, I, I talked to him about this. Was no one texted him? No one called him after the fact? No one said shit. You know, like, Jay, the boys might not trust you, this or that. Because you mean you need to remember, from his point of view, he doesn't know about Teddy, he doesn't know about any of this shit. He thinks his boys have no trust with him, and only want to deal with him when they need a pickup, or they need a driver, or they need a shooter, you know? 
stay awake. I don't think so. It's the first time you're hearing this as well, Dean. Yeah. The thing is, look, 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 like, like, I can understand Dean. You're probably sitting, sitting there now, thinking that's your information to give out. But no, on the pier, no, I, I, listen, I, I'm, I'm not, I'm, a, I'm, a, before you finish, I'm a. Dean, can you speak louder? Hello. Hello. Oh, sorry. <clears throat> sorry. I was just be shouting. So. It's okay. He gave him that information. That means I guess he trusts him enough to give him that information. Mm -hmm. Um, I just have to talk to Jay. Uh, on a personal uh, on a personal level. Yeah, yeah. Um, once again, I am. I'm still MDM. You know what I'm saying? So like, he is yeah. he is the leader of this organization. Whatever he sees, like he needs to do, he could do. Yeah. On on that pier, right? The thing is. When that conversation came up and Dean said, can we tell Jay? And Adam said, nah, not yet. Like when he asked if he was trusted, right? At first, like when he first said that, I was like surprised. But I didn't say anything cause A, that information In is place. Dean's and it, and it wasn't my place to say, oh, come and tell Jay. You know what I'm saying? Like at that point, I can't step in and say nothing. Mm -hmm. And then after the fact, when we're leaving and going down the pier, that's when Adam comes up to me and comes up to Matt and is creasing and is like, oh, yo, go along with it. I thought like, like he's, he's pissed, go along with it. But joking with Jay, I'm saying he ain't trusted. So at that point, I'm thinking, all right, okay, cool. He's just, he's trolling them. Mm. So to me, it's like, I'll leave it. I just, they're doing their thing. I'm not going to go reach out to Jay because he's obviously saying it's a joke thing. Yeah. So then to hear that afterwards, that hasn't then been voiced to him. Obviously, you can understand why he's going to feel the way he feels. 100%. But I would 100% back, uh, back Jay knowing that information. I've known Jay time being in, being in Roman with him. Of course, yeah. he's trustworthy. And that's but, what I... Sorry, Sparky? No, no, no. You go, you go, you go. And that's what I told him is the boys probably didn't say shit. Because uh, they probably thought it wasn't their place, you know? Plus but, the fact that it's in front of him, bro. Like... If you pulled us to one side and was like, do you trust Jay? Every single man in the Manda would say yes, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, fully. But it's in front of him, isn't it? And it's banner. And it's an awkward Adam... situation to have to address that in front of him when you know it's such like we've kept info. Yeah, I think it just with no contacts with Jay and it just happening back to back, once at the block, once at the pier, and then you guys giggling, creasing about it, it probably was like, because I'm not going to lie, if no one in the gang trusted me, I have no place being here. I'm not going to stay somewhere I'm not really wanted, you know? Or if I don't yeah, have sir. trust with me, yeah, you Yeah, know? but you you talked to him about that, didn't you? Mm, I didn't get the chance because um, he went to jail after that meth run with uh, okay. CG. Um, okay, so... Because um, I wanted to give Adam the chance to talk to him how, first, how you know? How did this conversation pop up yesterday, if you don't mind me asking? Were you there? Mm, with Jay? Yeah. No, I have no... I... They they were in the car. And they came and picked me up. Oh, no, I went to go bring a repair kit for them. Okay. Um, and then he... I was asked, you know, how I feel about Jay and the situation. And then I was told, you know, he knows now. He just... So he told them one-on-one? -on -one. Yeah, he told them one-on-one. -on -one. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I just, I really need to talk to Jay one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. Um, I'm not, I'm not upset. I, I mean, I'm not, yeah, I'm not upset at that situation at all. 